时间，没有人能够了解，在遇见你之前，不知心中什么感觉，想不顾一切，不让这份爱冷却，就算季节变换，我早已习惯，有你在才会有安全感，一瞬间仿佛。Came for a blind date? Ah,、uh, yes. Ah,、uh, well, I also came here for that. Ah,、uh, my name is Chao Tsuihua. What's yours? Ah,、uh, I'm Shu Junshi. <laughs>、uh, how old are you? What about you? <laughs> I'm fifty-three.、Uh, I'm almost sixty. <laughs> <laughs> Then we're compatible. My daughter is thirty、oh. years old. What a coincidence! My son is twenty-five this year. Twenty-five、uh, is a bit too young. What is his job? Ah,、uh, my son is a senior executive in a company. But he's still a little young. <laughs> I don't think so. I think that we're a good match. So, what happened to your wife? Are you a widower or divorced? Widower. Oh, what a pity. Well, not really. Ah.、Uh, Well, don't be so sad. Everyone will go through that. But I'm I... not even sad. I think it's a good thing. You're here today because I think you also want to start a new life, isn't that right? What are you talking about? My daughter's only thirty. How can she not start a new life? She's still very young. She can't live as a widow. <sighs> In fact, my situation. Is similar to yours. My husband died a few years ago. My son got married last year. I'm living all alone. What? Your son's married? So you came here for what? For a blind date. He's already married. Why does he need a blind date?、Uh, I need one for myself. A blind date for you? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Fine, go ahead. <laughs> well, I think you're okay. Okay for what? Explain what you mean. I think you're tall and handsome. With a good temperament, just look at your angular face. I'm from the northeast. I like green onions, garlic, and stinky tofu. It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if my wife were alive, she'd kill me. Northeasterners are all handpacked. Thanks, little sister. Goodbye. Are you kidding goodbye, me? Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.、Oh, okay, can I greet、okay. you for tea or something? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> really? Yes, really. Chu Hei Chen, you think I'm a joke? <laughs> you never saw me as a joke. I can live very well without you. I can't find someone better, but I can find someone worse than you. So dying all alone will not happen to me. <laughs> you didn't cook for me, but look, I have some food. This lunch set. It's cheap and it's so good. <laughs> oh, Miss Chow, 
It seems that you know a lot about food, that's why you're a gourmet. I think this restaurant is nice. The food is good and the price is reasonable. Look, they even give free coffee with your lunch set and it tastes good. <laughs> hey, like I told you, uh -huh. I was in charge of purchasing in a five-star hotel. Although I don't know much about things, I surely know where to find delicious food. That's true, that's true. <laughs> After all, we have to be good in our job. Your clothes are so beautiful, just like your name. Chao Chui Hua. I think you look beautiful in those clothes. Shu <laughs> Jai Sha? Who is she? This is my friend. An old classmate of mine. Uh, <laughs> a friend? Uh-huh. Hmm. <clears throat> What's the matter? It was only a few days ago when you were granted a divorce from Shu Hui Chen. Now you've found a new one. Why are you in such a hurry? You know that... You just uh, got a divorce? You told me your wife is dead. Uh, uh, well, I... Whose but, wife uh, is dead? How can you be such a wicked woman, huh? How can you even talk that way when our dear Hui Chen is very much alive? How can you even say that she's dead? Huh? But it was he who told me that. Ah, and uh, so you believed everything uh, he but... said. Tell me, where is your brain? And why didn't you think about that? His wife was my classmate. <laughs> and... If you're going to ask me what I think of her, well, she's very beautiful, more beautiful than me. Now, just look at yourself, my dear. You know nothing about them, so what are you doing out here having lunch with him, huh? Wait, since he's divorced, it's all right for us to see each other. Fine, fine, fine. He has the right to choose a companion for himself. But you, but you shouldn't have said that his wife was already dead. Why did you say he's a widower? Wait, who are you anyway? Who am I? I was his classmate. I have to be responsible for my classmate. But you have no right to put the blame on me. I can't stand seeing you two. You should know that what you're doing is not right at all, okay? He just got a divorce. This is so improper. And I'm guessing you have a grandchild, right? You should go home and take care of him. Get out of this muddy water. Do what you should do. Go away. Hey, go. hey, don't touch me. You should hey. always do the right thing. I can go stand home. by myself. Go home, okay? And who are you to talk to me this way? Are you insane? Shu Jin Sir, I'm telling you that I won't meet you ever again. Goodbye. You'll never see each other again. Tui Hua, I'll get in touch with you. I'll call you. Mei Ling, what have you done? That's too much. Oh, take a look at that woman. What's Chui Hua? But her name is Chui Hua. <sighs> Shu Jin Sha, let me say that I know you still can't accept your sudden divorce from Hui Qin. So I understand the ridiculous things that you did. What ridiculous things are you saying? I'm telling you, I'm a free man now. I know that you're a free man now, but you're making those moves too soon. You were just granted a divorce from Shi Hui Chen. How can you end a relationship that you built for so many years? Maybe you should be taking things a bit slowly and think about your shortcomings when you were still living under one roof with Hui Chen, so that in your next relationship, you can do everything better. Am I right? You're looking for the next woman too Did soon. Did you eat too You're... much food but have nothing to do? But I'm not full at all, okay? I'm not even full at all. I'm telling you this because we used to be classmates. How can you start making those moves so quickly, huh? I think uh... that's so improper. I mean it, right? And maybe you should start taking stock of your life first. You really need to make your choice and find a good woman. Look at that woman, Shui Hua. Just look at her face. It's a lot worse than mine. Am I right? Yeah. Don't you think you should find a better woman? Then your life can be back on the right track. How old are you now? 60? Uh. Let's say that you live to 100 years old. Then you'll still have 40 years to go, my friend. Just think of the kind of life you want for the rest of your days. Ask yourself why you failed in your last marriage. Think about it. Even I know that Wei Chen had always been a little impulsive, but no matter how painful it is. So what I think is that you should learn to control yourself. What now? Yu Mao Zhou Restaurant, fourth floor. The coffee is free. No need to pay the bill. Xu Jiansha, you scoundrel! Absolutely beautiful. You have a great day. Yes, fully agree. 
like it. So. Thank you so much for your cooperation. You. I'm very Thank excited. You. I'll see you soon. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hello? Chai, guess who I met? Who did you meet? The most famous Austrian art dealer. He wants to sign me up and go to Austria for a one-man show. Really now? That's great news. Where are you now? I'm approaching Citizen Square. What a coincidence. I'm also in the same place. Can you come to me? Where are you? Do you see the big clock in the building at the center of the square? Hmm? The priest once told us, if people get married when the church bell rings, they will be blessed. <laughs> Chai, I can't wait to go back to Austria with you. I want you to be my bride right now. I can't wait any longer. But you proposed already. That doesn't count. Okay. I'm going to you now. You have to be really fast. Only two minutes left. I'm running. We have new dishes today. Sure. Uh, da Chang made this. Try it. Let me know what you think. Oh. Okay? Try it. <laughs> Sliced noodles. <laughs> what do you think? Not as good as your specialty. Are you serious? I'll change it. Hey, Let wait. me, huh? I was only joking. It's delicious. Really? Sister Hua, your phone! Ah. Uh, let me just answer it. It's my daughter. Hello, Chai Yi. What's up? Anyang had an accident. What?
What happened, Chai? How did it happen? So where did the accident happen? Is that serious? What did the doctor say? Huh? Is he all right? I hope it's not life-threatening. Please tell me that it's not. What? It's not comfortable for you here. Go home and sleep in the bed. I'll stay here. I'll let you go home. You should go home. If you sleep here, I won't get to sleep well either. you to listen to me i'll keep you company for a while listen you told me that it's not a big deal yes it's, that it's not, not a big serious. deal why do you want to stay with me i what are you hiding from me nothing the doctor told me that you just need to relax so that it will help clear your mind you need to do that and sleep well so you can recover faster. I can't walk again. You can. Can I walk again? Look at me. Hmm? Look at me. I... I was just worried about you, that's why. Let me get you some water. Why do you keep avoiding my eyes? Can't I walk again? Tell me, can't I walk again? Please wait, I'll get some hot water. How is he? What's happening? Don't cry. He keeps asking me questions. What? I'm sure he's worried. He wants to know whether he can walk or not. Uh, then tell him that there's nothing wrong. Comfort him and tell him he can walk again. But I dare not look at him. I can't tell him he can't walk. Oh, stop. Please don't be too nervous. Everything will be okay. It's not serious. Listen, you can't cry in front of him. 
Do you hear me? Or he'll be more afraid, okay? I... So where are you going? I was about to get some hot water. I want to be alone. You just go home and take a rest. You can't stay here the whole day. If I go home, this will just keep bothering me. Oh, well, just promise me that you won't get sick. Okay. Well, okay, then. Just let me console him, huh? Good. Don't be nervous. <sighs> Anyang. Auntie, you came. Yes, to visit you. <sighs> How are you feeling? Do you feel better? Tell me, doesn't it hurt? Hmm? Mm. You know, I think you look much better. This is just the second day, but your complexion is much better. Auntie, where did Chai go? Well, she said she wants to get water for you. I saw the bottle in her hand. I am aware that your whole body really hurts right now and that you're also very scared to know the truth, Anyang. Auntie? Hmm? I'm not afraid. I just feel really sorry for Jai and for you. It should have been our happiest days. And that goes for you too. I don't know why. I suddenly... Don't think about it. As the saying goes, people need a hundred days to recover from bone damage. Look at you. The damage to your body was so serious because you've been hit very hard. You need at least 300 days to recover. But first, you need to relax and get rid of your anxieties. These are detrimental to your health, am I right? Don't be pessimistic, think positive. And you will fully recover from your injury because you're still very young. The more you talk, Auntie, the stranger I feel. I saw the face of Chai Yi, and I see your face now. I don't think things are that simple. Why are you thinking of so many things? I'm telling you that you will definitely walk again. If I tell you that you'll never walk again, will you believe me? That's why. It doesn't matter what I say. Men are tough, so that means you won't be a cripple that easily. Please don't start thinking about those things right now. Think of what you want to eat instead. Tell me so that I can prepare them for you. Okay? I haven't even tried your cooking yet. You're right, my dear. Of course you haven't. Tell me what you want and I'll make it. Oh, hmm? I want to have pork rib soup. <laughs> That's so easy. I'm such an expert in making that soup. I can put mushrooms and some herbs so that you'll recover at once. So what else do you want, huh? I can make it with a delicious pork rib soup. You like that? Hmm? <laughs> we will get bigger. So with the new publishing house, you will have to accept constructive criticism to improve your work. Give your work after one week. Any questions? None. We're done. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be late. So why are you late again? I'm sorry. I just came from the hospital. Hospital? What happened? It wasn't me. It's Anyang. What happened to him? He had an accident. What? An accident? How is he? He may not be able to walk. He's still lying in bed. That's serious. Do you want to move him to a better hospital? There's no need for that. But can that hospital handle it? He has to be moved. I don't want to make him worry. Then you should look after him. I can give you two days off. Just pull yourself together. He doesn't want to see you like this. Let me know if anything happens, okay? Thank you. By the way, there's one more thing I need to tell you. I know your mind is not at work now, but we will be publishing our first novel under this new group. And I want it to be your work. Hmm? I'll do my best. Cheer up. So will he ever walk again? Uh, 
The doctor said that the nerves in his legs might have been affected. That's why it'll be very difficult for him to stand up. Oh, dear. But, but what about Chai They're going to get married. What will she do now? What else can she do? Of course she's worried. I just felt so bad when I went to the hospital to visit him. What about his parents? Were they there? Don't even mention his parents. They're still alive. But it seems like Anyang is practically an orphan. W what do you mean? I don't understand. His father and mother have their own families now. And since he was a child, his parents didn't care much about him. That's why he was so afraid of getting married. And so I feel so sorry for him now. <sighs> what should we do? Why did such an accident happen at this time? Who is it? Xu Jianshi? Mm. Take a look. What's this? Uh, I don't have my glasses. Uh, what's that? Oh, a table with food. I think he's just showing off. Ignore him. Tai I'll make some more soup so you can eat together, am I right? I'm done. Here it is. Okay. Take it to him. Mm. <sighs> Ma. Mm. I'm really afraid because... Because what if... Anyang never gets better. Don't think that way, okay? That won't happen, because he's young. Young people are very strong. And we can pray to God. We can pray to God to watch over him. So don't be so pessimistic. Try to cheer up, huh? What? But what if he never gets better? If he never walks again? Will you still let me marry him, Ma? But how can I answer that question for you? As your mother, of course I want you to have a happy life. After all, your life is just about to begin, you know. If he never walks again and you would choose to follow him for a lifetime, how many hardships would you go through your whole life? You won't be able to live the life that you really want. You can't be head over heels in love forever because passion will fade away someday. <sighs> but on the other hand, if I say you're not allowed to be with him, will you listen to what your mother says or will you leave him? I pity Anyang. I've never even seen his parents. Maybe they don't really care about their son. It was hard for him to adjust to our family. But look at how close he is to us now. If you don't support him, who will? He will be worse off without us. Well, I know you don't need me to persuade you. I... I think we should stop worrying about all this because it's useless. Someone once said that the past is over, and the future is truly a mystery. So who knows what the future will bring? What will happen then? No one knows. That's why the present is important. Let's not waste our time on wishful thinking. Time past will never come back again. No matter what happens, let's live in the moment and follow our heart. Besides, your mother will respect whatever you choose and stand by your side, okay? Cheer up.
Okay. Huh? Here. Hmm? I want you to be happy. Mm. And please don't let him see your sad face, because that would just make a situation <laughs> worse, huh? Doctor, how's my recovery? When can I stand up? It's hard to say for now. I can't give you an accurate answer, because you see, the neurological damage to your legs is hard to treat. I suggest that you discuss this with your family and contact some rehab centers. Um, doctor, stop right there. What do you mean by neurological damage and it's hard to treat my legs? Are you saying that I may never walk again? I didn't say that. Uh, confidence is more important because after the drug therapy, you'll have to undergo rehabilitation. I can guarantee the effect on you, but it's the only way for now. And besides, the rehab centers offer psychological guidance. They are also responsible for personnel training that your family members can take so that they can better take care of you. Excuse me, nurse. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the patient who was staying in that room. Where is he? Oh, he just left. The hospital? Mm -hmm. But he's still recovering. How can he leave? The doctor also told him that, but still he decided to leave. Maybe he went to another hospital. Are you his girlfriend? Didn't you know? Anyang, where are you? Where did you go? How come you didn't tell me? I'm here to help you make it through. Anyang, where on earth are you? You can't just disappear like this. Anyang? I'm sorry to disturb you. Would you know where I can find the tenant? He just moved out. Who are you?
Hello? Taiyi. Hey, how's everything going with Anyang? So, did he like the soup that I prepared? Huh? Hey. Hello there. Taiyi? Hey, what's wrong? Where are you? I'm at home. You're at home? What are you doing there? Shouldn't you be at the hospital? And staying with Anyang now? What's wrong? Did something happen? What? S say something. Don't keep quiet. I get so worried when you're quiet. It's okay. I'm okay. Don't tell me nothing happened if... you because you're such a baby what can i do <laughs> just wait for me here when i get back i'll tell you about the date okay see you i hope you get bored ah! what happened what's wrong i just cut my finger let me see where is it why don't you trust me you that I will never leave you one nine eight eight Taiyi Taiyi What's going on, Chai Yi? Why are you still laying in bed? What happened? Hey, shouldn't you be at the hospital right now? Why did you suddenly come back? What happened? Tell your mother. Huh? What's the matter, Chai Yi? Talk to me. Come on. Anyang disappeared. Disappeared? How can he disappear? Dis where could he be? He turned off his cell phone. He wouldn't even reply to my messages. Tell me, did you go to his apartment? Was anyone there? Maybe he just went back home. Everything is gone. But why did he do this? <sighs> Was it... Tell me what happened. Come on. Ma. What? On my way to his apartment, I kept thinking that this may be the hardest time for me and Anyang. But if we stay together, I know that we will overcome all the difficulties. That's why I don't understand why he did this to me. I just want to know where he is right now. How could he leave without telling me? You know... Maybe he just wants to be alone right now. Alone for a while since he's afraid that... That... He will never... Be able to walk again and he doesn't want to become a... A, a burden to you, okay? Don't cry, honey, don't cry. Don't cry. Crying is useless, don't you think? If it's not, I can cry along with you. But it's useless, right? <sighs> I think everything... will be all right. Think about it. You love each other. So much. How could he suddenly leave? 
if he were a healthy person, maybe he could disappear for other reasons. That's possible. But he's disabled, and there's no place for him to go. Where can he go? I think that. He'll show up after a few days. Think about it. You miss him, won't he miss you too? He loves you so much. Right? Ma. Yes. Will everything turn out like you said? But of course it will. He has no reason to disappear. Well, you know that's somehow impossible, so... Don't be too sad, Chai-Yi, okay? Well, let's give him a few days, maybe. This is what he wants now. He wants to be by himself. <sighs> that kid must feel lost. You have to understand that it's also not easy for him. <sighs> Stop it. Don't get worried. It won't do you good. You should eat something first and go to bed early, okay, my dear? I'm sure he'll show up tomorrow. That's the most logical thing to do. Once he switches on his cell phone, he will see your messages. Do you think he'll just disregard them and not reply to you? I don't think so. And you know what? He's not like that, right? I sent you the files of the three patients. Yes, I got them. Check it. Okay. Excuse me, I'm looking for Mr. He and Young. Is he here for some therapy? Wait a minute, I'll check our list. I'm sorry, we don't have a patient by that name. Uh, is it possible for a patient to use a fake name? Fake name? <laughs> Impossible. Hello. Can you check this name for me? It's Ha Young. Maybe he's undergoing rehabilitation here. I can't find his name. Can you check it again? There's really none. Okay, thanks.
。你是否还对我想话？你是否还会对我说话？你是否还在我身旁？还是你早把我忘？还是你早把我忘？